Everyone loves following up on what their favorite stars are doing, who they're dating, and what they're planning on getting up to next. But unfortunately, a few mega fans sometimes get a bit too up in their business, forgetting that their idols are people too. That's what Joseph Quinn has learned recently. If you want to find out what exactly happened and how Stranger fans are reacting to this, stick with us. Let's dive in. First up, Stranger Things star Joseph Quinn's dating profile gets exposed on TikTok. It all started with a harmless video uploading on TikTok, except that video wasn't so harmless after all. In it, we can see that someone is taking a video of the screen of another phone, and it has what seems to be the Raya dating app opened up. For those of you who don't know about Raya, there's a huge reason. It's an exclusive dating app accessible only to people who submit an application to get in, and not everyone's application gets accepted. For this reason, celebrities and famous people usually turn to it when they want to get in on the online dating action. One of the people on it is Joseph Quinn. Now, we're not sure if the person taking this video uses Raya, or if they just hacked into the dating app, but this person looked up Quinn's profile and decided to leak the pictures he posted on it to the whole world on TikTok. In the video, we can see Quinn's profile opened up and a slideshow playing to the tune of Peaches by the Stranglers. In the slideshow, we can see some pictures of Quinn that had never been released before, so it's most likely that this isn't some fake video. One of those pictures includes a shirtless snap of the actor. The video cuts to the last picture when the slideshow ends. Since that video has been uploaded on the social media platform, it has blown up, getting a huge viewership. Next up, Stranger Things fans are denouncing the exposers. When that video got uploaded on TikTok, it didn't take long for it to spread spread far and wide, even beyond the platform of TikTok, getting to Twitter even. The largest percentage of those viewers are, unsurprisingly, Stranger Things fans, especially those who love Joseph Quinn as Eddie Munson in season four of the show. While a lot of the viewers enjoyed the new snaps of the actor, and some also wondered whether the pictures were fake or not, the majority of Stranger Things fans weren't happy, and instead went on to denounce the exposers of Joseph Quinn's dating profile, and for very good reason. Clearly, Quinn never intended to share these photos with the public. Rhea is a very private, very exclusive dating platform, and it was only meant for the select few that had been invited onto it. Anyone other than that was invading his privacy. Most Stranger Things were aware of that, criticizing the people who thought it was okay to do this. One fan wrote, It's so inappropriate. He's a man who needs his freedom and privacy respected. If you claim to love him, then leave him alone. Another fan commented that his fans have no boundaries. One fan was so shocked by what had happened that they wrote a whole thread about the incident, and how this was not okay for anyone to do, no matter how much you loved that actor. It was a form of cyber-stalking either way. This is one of the most toxic fandoms to its stars, and if I'm being honest, I'm fairly ashamed to be a part of it." The fan ended the tweet. Coming up, this isn't the first time fans invaded Quinn's privacy. Unfortunately, Joseph Quinn hasn't gotten the warmest welcome since his performance on Stranger Things, and this isn't the first time his privacy got exposed on social media for the world to see. In the past couple of months, since Joseph Quinn shot up in popularity due to his performance on Stranger Things, he has also experienced the bad side of stardom as well. He's dealt with a few too many obsessive fans. For example, at the recent Fan Expo in Canada, even after he interacted with fans, some of the stalkerish ones followed him all the way back to his hotel room in Toronto and waited in the lobby for the actor to come out. Creepy much, but that's not all. Joseph's family and friends haven't been left out of this mess either. Some people hacked into a member of his family's Facebook and shared some private photos of Quinn on social media. Then, pretty recently, other fans waited for him and Grace Van Deen, who played Chrissy on Stranger Things, to arrive at the airport, proceeded to take pictures of the two without their permission, and are now selling them on the internet. Even worse, Grace has been cyberbullied on the internet because of her friendship with Quinn. She even resorted to making her Twitter account private because the trolls were getting too much to handle. Either way, it hasn't been the best welcome for the two stars, who only recently rose to fame, and it's definitely far from the one they deserve. Finally, has Quinn said anything about the leak yet? At the moment, Joseph Quinn hasn't commented about his breach of privacy yet, but it's likely he's been made aware of it by now, as it's been a few days. We're not sure how this will affect whether he is still chooses to use the dating app or not. It seems no matter how careful he gets, fans will always find a way to get into his personal space. Fans are right to be ashamed of the point the Stranger Things fandom has gotten to, considering some of the other actors have even resorted to deleting their social media because they couldn't catch a break from their stalkers. It's far from something to be proud of. We need to do better. Now moving on to other news. First up, Indiana Hotel's Stranger Things suite offers stay in the Upside Down. Stranger Things has taken over the world, but it has now taken over Indiana as well. The series is set in the imaginary town of Hawkins, Indiana, and follows a group of kids in the 1980s who encounter the paranormal world of the Upside Down, as well as their buddy Eleven, who has the power to protect them all. While Hawkins is made up, that doesn't mean you can't celebrate your favorite show while visiting the state. Graduate Hotels in Bloomington, Indiana now provides a specific suite dedicated to fans of the series. If you take up your stay at the suite, your room will transport you to Joyce Byers' home, where she scrawled the alphabet on the wall so she could communicate with her son Will, stuck in the Upside Down. Get your egos, which, by the way, are included in the experience, and ride your 
your bike throughout Indiana like Will, Mike, Dustin, and Lucas to experience the charm of Stranger Things. It's everything a Stranger Things fan could ever dream of, so what are you waiting for? Head to Indiana right now! Next up, Stranger Things' Vecna actor wants a showdown with Will in Season 5. Stranger Things star Jamie Campbell Bauer thinks Vecna should face up against Noah Schnapp's Will Byers in the final season of the show. In Season 4, the actor appeared as the strong telepathic villain on the hit Netflix series. Considering that Will has had some sort of telepathic ability with the Mind Flayer since he got lost in the Upside Down, it's not too far off to assume he could end up having some connection to the new villain Vecna, who is called the Mind Flayer's henchman. A mind battle between the two could end up being the key to finally taking down the villain, and either way, it would definitely be really awesome to see. During a recent appearance on the Happy Sad Confused podcast, host Josh Horowitz asked Bauer who he hoped to work with in Stranger Things Season 5, and the actor revealed that he hopes this villain gets scenes with Will. Bauer believes Vecna and Will will have unfinished business, alluding to popular fan theories about the character's possible appearance during Will's kidnapping to the Upside Down in Season 1. Bauer also notes that because of earlier events such as Will's Mind Flayer possession, he believes the encounter could have a potential for the more horror side of the show. Last but not least, Noah Schnapp has a blast at frat party at first week of college. Looks like Noah Schnapp is fitting right into his life as a college student. The 17-year-old actor, who plays Will Byers on Stranger Things, was caught making a splash at a wild bar party to start off his college experience at the University of Pennsylvania. Noah counted to three before jumping from a wooden bridge into the waters below, as seen in the video, while surrounded by a bunch of rowdy students at a local watering hole with a pool. According to TMZ, Noah took a daring dive in the pool at the Bamboo Bar near the campus in Philadelphia. Apparently, the bar staff frown on guests diving into the water, which is usually clogged with trash, and escort those who do so out the front door. Because the establishment is also a restaurant, anyone under the age of 21 are permitted to attend, therefore Noah was allowed to show off his thrill-seeking antics. At least he's having fun. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about what happened? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!